In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this grilled fish in a very, very special way that is so, so tasty. So guys, the fish I'm going to be using here is croaker fish. And I'm sure everybody knows what croaker or how croaker fish looks like. So I'm going to be using some um, scotch bonnet, some onions and some sweet pepper hello guys you are welcome back to my channel um so here i'm going to be cutting the onions i'm going to cut a lot of onions i'll slice them and i'll blend the um scotch bonnet and the tatashi so um to all my returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking and um to all those watching me for the first time please don't make it your last i'm always saying that please don't make it your last make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure that you give this video a very massive thumbs up okay now let's get right into the video again so i've i have my oil on the on the heat so i'm using a hot plate and i've cut all the onions like i said i'm going to be using loads of onions the onions gives it this essential this lovely flavor and um, i've blended the pepper so i mean um use your discretion the kind of how much you want it to be very very spicy i like fish to be very spicy because fish has this taste that you know you really want that um, spicy kick in it so i've added some um um no cubes which i've crushed um some thyme and i've added some all-purpose seasoning and i've added some salt to it so i'm going to allow this pepper to really really fry so i have different ways of making my grilled um fish but in this case i just discovered this idea so that is why i am you know i've come to share it with you guys so while that is you no know, um cooking let's get right in washing the fish i don't know how you guys wash your fish but i make sure that i wash my fish to the maximum cleanliness i make sure i run it under water clean the guts take the um guts out and um the um the the scale on it they, because they don't usually descale it very well so i make sure i scale it very i descale it very very well and i wash it again under running water and i put it um inside the sieve um the reason why i'm putting inside the sieve is because i want the excess water to really really drain out because when you are grilling fish you don't want too much water when you grill your fish well, maybe um, you're grilling the fish without uh, without foil or with foil. Please make sure that you you know extract enough um, water out of it. So I covered it and make sure that I left it for about five hours. Yeah, maybe more than that for all the water to come out. And I'll be showing you guys right now all the excessive water that has come out of this fish. Because when you are grilling fish, the fish itself has you know water. It retains water. So. With that, you want um, every sauce that you put inside your fish to really, really stay. So I'm getting my um, tray ready for my grilled fish. You can actually grill this fish outside on your griller, but um, I'm not using that. I'm using the oven. So I've got my foil and I'll also be using baking paper so that I'll have less of, um, you know, cleaning to do on my tray. So I'm going to be using two trays. I've got nine fish in here. So I'm probably going to be, you know, grilling it about two or three times. So this is the second tray which I'm going to be using and I will just, you know, wrap it. So guys, at this point, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. So right now I am going to, you know, score the fish. Just little incision on it so that um, the sauce will, you know, go into... Uh, the fish please let me know in the comment section how you do yours you know i like to learn i do different way you know i have different ways sometimes i just you know season it with you know my seasoning and that's it and because this is easter monday i'm going to be putting some um, prawns with it so actually all this fish i'm cooking is not for us to eat at home i sell it in my virtual kitchen but because it's easter monday i'm just going to be doing you know maybe one or two for for us to have at home so I've scored all the fish and I'm just, you see the um, the onions and the pepper which I fried earlier. So that is it. Everything has simmered together. So I'll add everything, you know, I'll just spread it on the fish and um, make sure that it goes inside. Then I'll add just a little bit of salt on the fish at the end and I'll give it a very, very good wrap. So wrap it so that when you put it in the oven, the steam of the fish will cook the fish and all the seasoning will go right 
inside the fish. You can actually do this without wrapping it where you put it just on the tray and you put it in the oven. But because you want every of the seasoning to stay right inside, no, you don't want it to wash away. This is that's the reason why I am doing this. So I am um, I don't do because I do tilapia too, but I don't do it like this. But because I've recently just discovered this way, that is why I'm doing it like this. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to repeat on every fish. But at this point, the oven is on, um, which is, you know, I'm preheating the oven um, at, um, is it 200 degrees? So that it will be very, very hot. So this is the one I'm going to present to my husband to eat. So I've added the prawns with it so that the prawns can cook with it. You can basically just, you know, add anything with your fish. I think fish seasoning, I mean, fish gets, you know, absorbs seasoning very, very fast. So you can basically use any kind of seasoning to, to you know, to season your fish. So, um, like I said, I'll just, you know, wrap everything. And since my tray is ready, I'll just pop everything on the tray and um, we'll start um We'll start baking. We'll start grilling. We'll grilling or baking, whichever way, you know, we we'll do it. So I'll nicely place it inside because I don't want the fish to, to, to break. So this is the rest of the fish which I have wrapped. Like I said, I I have about nine of it. So I'm I've distributed everything inside. So this is the. Um, first time I'm bringing it out of the oven to check if it is properly done. Oh my God, the aroma. So this is what it actually looks like on my virtual kitchen. So I don't sell it with prawns. I sell it with just plantain, fried yam and fried plantain and, you know, the homemade sauce. But this one is going to be eaten at home. That is why I put some prawns inside. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are taking one or two, you know, out of this fish that I have done, please let me know in the comment section if you will be trying it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for the massive love. Thank you for the, um, for the love for the channel. So till I come your way again next time, take care, stay safe, and God bless you. See me, I am enjoying my fish, um, prawns, and my fried yam and fried plantain. Thank you. Take care. Bye. I love you guys. I love you all so, so much.